as we come on the air. President Biden moments away from leaving Japan following that G7 summit. After just wrapping up a news conference, the prime focus this weekend, the war in Ukraine. The gathering also including a bilateral meeting this morning between Biden and Ukraine's President Zelensky. That meeting happening hours after Russia claimed its forces and mercenaries had taken the key Ukrainian city of Bakhmut after a long and desperate fight. And we have President Zelensky's comments on that as he thanked the U.S. for more aid support. But first, let's start with ABC's Terry Moran, who is live in Hiroshima, Japan. Terry, good morning. Good evening from Japan, Janae. President Biden heading back home to the United States now after a summit that he called extremely significant, highlighted by that dramatic in-person wartime visit of President Zelensky. But all of President Biden's time here was constantly shadowed by that debt limit crisis back home. Today in Hiroshima, a remarkable show of American support for Ukrainian President Zelensky. At a group photo of summit leaders with Zelensky, who is wearing his signature military greens, President Biden put his arm around the embattled leader, a small gesture that spoke volumes about their wartime partnership. Later, at a meeting between the two leaders, Biden announcing the details of the latest U.S. military aid package for Ukraine. More ammunition, artillery, and armored vehicles for Zelensky's hard-pressed forces. $375 million more. Together with the entire G7, uh, we have Ukraine's back. My appreciations. We never forget. Thank you. And then Zelensky was asked about the long, bloody battle for the town of Bakhmut on the eastern front of the war. The Russians say they've taken Bakhmut. I think no. It's a pity. It's tragedy, but for, for today, it, Bakhmut is only in our hearts. The city is in ruins, and Russia has paid a high price for its long siege, but the leader of the Russian mercenary forces in the town sent a mocking message to Zelensky at the summit. Today, when you see Biden, kiss him on the top of the head for you. But for all the high drama about Ukraine here, Biden could not escape the looming debt ceiling crisis back home. Now it's time for the other side to move their, from their extreme positions. There is no bipartisan deal to be made solely solely on their partisan terms. The president suggesting a red line for him there, that there won't be a deal unless there are some tax increases, but acknowledging that he can't guarantee there won't be a default. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.